I love her one. Welcome to Weed Talk. This episode where Brandon's on here because he's a fucking pissed on my wife. I'm not doing the entire joke. We, we, we have been m- making three fucking attempts to do this recording. And I'm right now smoking aggressively. And Zach's about to hang himself. Hi. I'm, I've put my head through the noose already. Made with the na- nice coil from the wire of my deceased uncle's headset. So, um, let's see, what's, what was my fucking intro again? Let me look up the script. Oh, yeah, I burned down your local orphanage because fuck this. Fuck this fucking episode. Fuck Brandon. Fuck Discord. Fuck. Fuck all of us, dude. It's, it's killing us. We are slowly dying inside. Send help. Um, oh, and I'm an anime girl now because I made this... And I want to, uh, I wanted to use it for something. Faggot. That, that as well. So today's topic is best, fuck, best world build. In- ah. So, Zach, you start us off while I move on to my ape cigarette. <laughs> okay, so I don't really have a good example of anime that does this, aside from, I guess right. if you want to count Castlevania. But I, I'm gonna use uh, Xenoblade as an example, considering it's probably one of the biggest games that I've played and know about. And if anyone knows me, I'm a big Xenoblade fan. It, it's My such an, fucking light is dead great. Oof. It's, an, it's such an interesting world, and it's interesting to see how people like would develop on if they were to be like living basically on the backs of these massive fucking things, and how they would combat. Uh, oh, that's Australia for you. Yeah, basically. It's just Australia. This is Australia. <laughs> yeah, this is Australia like the game. Everything's fucking hell. There's monsters everywhere. People dying left and right. This is, this is actual Australia here. Yeah, not to mention, like, pretty much every area can be seen from any other area. Like, you could be in Gower Plain and see the knock on tree or like like or maybe not the high Antia area because that's it's like, like seeing the death back. Yeah, it's like seeing Death Mountain everywhere. Yeah, basically Ganador versus giant dead. Yeah. But it's like everything meshes together and you like if you were to walk from Colony Nine all the way to say like Sword Valley, it would feel like a complete journey because it's like everything there meshes so well and there's like so few loading zones between So them. here's the thing, I never played any of the Xenoblade games. I know they go all the way back to the fucking PS1 now, but um, I never had the chance to play them because they're really fucking long and I'm broke. Yeah. Especially if you want to get like a more like authentic, I guess, experience for Xenoblade 1 considering it was originally a Wii title. Like, the Wii disc for Xenoblade costs, like, hundreds of dollars, and I do not have the money for that. That's why I went... Holy fucking... I'm guessing you went and, like, looked up the price of a Xenoblade disc? Yeah, fucking hell, mate. How much? I see one that's about 400. Fucking Christ. Uh, this is just a this is just a fucking st- disc, no box art, none of that shit. That's the disc alone. Oh my god, that's fucking insane. Although I, w- I don't think any, I will say any good collectors editions are priced as just as much as the single. Yeah. Fuck man. Although I will say the disc. It has the best use of that fucking circle I've ever seen in my <laughs> goddamn life. Well, the Simpsons game, the Simpsons movie, remember? Oh, that too. Like, that and the Xenoblade disc are the two best uses of, like, the physical form of a CD or DVD or whatever fucking disc I've ever seen in my life. Yep. And I'm so sad that that joke doesn't carry over to the 3DS version. <laughs> uh, fucking someone just drills a hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I 
can see someone doing that. Anyways, uh, so that's my example. Of we don't know. Unfortunately, we don't know what Xenoblade oh, was, because both of us don't have Yeah, Xenoblade 2 is kind of gay. I want to play Xenoblade 2, but at the same time, it's like, the best part about it is that it has a vague connection to Xenoblade 1, but that's like I way, mean, way Zulk late. Is, Zulk, I mean, Zulk is in the fucking DLC now, so. Well, that too, but I mean, He's like... Aside from DLC, there's like one character that somewhat ties the two together, but it's like both like a very vague and loose connection, and it comes like way, way late, and it's like massive spoilers. So, for my example, Full Metal Alchemist, because Full Metal Alchemist has an interesting way of showing what the world is like, as in, it's over all different kind of conflicts and how to can experience them or like go through so for example there's it's like a countryside or like a border in the, on, on the north and at one point the main characters have to go to it and we get this constant conflict of how the enemy army is going to try to you know pull control over try to fight back so we have that and then there's all the horrible genocide in the spot a literal genocide. Huh. Like, it, yeah, probably everyone. Uh, like, there's no point in me really explaining every fucking. It's why the one of the few things I notice of world. Fantastic point of view. No one will tell us no. Of like good before. Or say we're only dreaming. Let me share this whole new world with you. Good. You kind of cut out for a lot of that, but I think people could kind of understand. I think Zach finally stepped off the stool. Yeah, uh, I, I was trying to tell you that a lot of that cut out, and I guess I cut out for you too. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's about time we both stepped off the stool, honestly. Full mana out. Full Moroccan has good good wall building. And we don't give a shit about the 10 minute mark anymore, so we're just gonna shoot the shit. Alright. Is it? Oh, it's actually the 7 minute mark. Wow. I didn't have much to say this time, huh? Whatever. Hey, is the. in the back? What? Is, it, is the songs playing in the background? Yeah, I've been making sure they play. Although the Devil Man one had like a fucking ad in front of it and I was like scrambling to fucking skip it. <laughs> I need ad block. Uh, I probably shit my, my computer shit bricks. Oh well, that's gonna be awkward in post. What do you mean post? This goes out, this goes into live like basically 10 seconds after. So, I'm going to talk about Trampus Strikes again, and why it's probably a good shooter, a Suda game. Or, you know, a new step for Suda in general. No More Heroes 2 sucks. It's an example of why Grass, like, fucking Suda has no control over some of the games he works on, and he uses them when someone else looks over a lot of shit. Um, it's boring as fuck, it's repetitive. Only the story is the good. And honestly, people would say they like this game over, like, fucking one or even. or fucking retarded. Mm -hmm. Did I, I cut out again? Just a bit, but not enough to lose the overall message. So, Travis Strikes Back. It's pretty much a change up from Suda's usual style and Hacker Style's game. But I, I will say. It, a lot of his fucking games are hack and slash. You have to admit this. Mm -hmm. So it's an overhead game, like a tabletop, like top-down game, where it's still hack and slash, but there's still a shit ton of things you can do. Like you have power-ups, you again co-op. There's basically a lot of sh like fucking sauce to the game that a lot of other, like a lot of his, a lot a lot of his other games lack. 
but I don't think it's a game for the fans. I think it's just a game for Suda to fuck with for a bit. Hmm. On the bright side, if anyone who played the game now, or at least like yesterday, the, the updated intro from Home of Rio something nice. And I'm gonna spoil it right here. So if you don't hit spoilers, get the fuck go. Leave. Fuck, we don't want you. I think two owns the right to kill a sever kill a severin again. So fucking wisp. Um I think so, I think you mentioned it to me, but like what was the reason for you thinking that again? One of the char one of the seven characters from Kill Seven is literally in a new fucking intro. Uh. And it's done in the style of Kill Seven where everything's like kind of Blob bitch, and there's a different kind of shell scene to actual cut scenes in the game. Mm -hmm. Like, like looks like a GameCube game instead of a fucking Switch game now. So, <laughs> so yeah, the one of the seven main characters you play as the Kill Seven is now in the game, or at least in, in the intro cutscene. So I'm thinking, okay, so Suda must have bought the rights again. And now apparently it's connected to the fucking No More Hero universe and lore. <laughs> like a lot of other, like I think he's trying to make No More Heroes into one gigantic fucking close fuck of his universe of all his other games. I mean, because this is not the other, this is not the only pseudo game character that made an appearance. We have fuck uh, Garcia's and Johnson in one of the stages. One of them being the boss of fucking game of. You know, one of the levels. Hmm. We have constant reference to other characters and other events are happening in other games. And I think Suda's just really putting all his shit together to say, hey, this is, this is not. What are your thoughts, Zach? Um, I don't really have a. Like, I don't really have No More Heroes, like. I don't really have this, and I've never really had an opportunity to play any other. Well, even from Heroes like uh, even, even from like that, like from that perspective, um, from that perspective. Fuck, wait, hold on. Shit. Why you not? Yeah. Okay, fuck, my thing cut off there. So from that perspective of like not having played any of the previous, like, pseudo games it, it seems like a kind of interesting idea to kind of, like, merge all these different universes into one, when before there was, like, no real, like, indication of that, and the game looks fun, even besides that, like, I personally enjoy top-down games every once in a while, and I enjoy just to have kind of, like, a nice fun time with a hack and slash as long as um like as long as it can like make like distract me from something for like a good hour and a half i'll probably enjoy it i, I want to pick it up but i don't have money indication what no. what some kind of in okay if you talk about you hear that one no, I did not. I didn't. It's fucking air. But why does it keep cutting out when you're trying to tell me this thing? Uh... Cut off. Yeah, you got cut off again. I think I'm gonna like blow my brains out. We talked the podcast where every ep <laughs> every episode is worse than the last, and nothing is sacred. They're on a tangent right now, or he Harvey just had a seizure. I fucking everything is going wrong. And I think God has abandoned us. 
he just blows his brains off. He. Yeah. I mean, like I was saying, the what? Fuck. Um. Uh, hey, nice job. That whole thing got cut off. What the fuck? Hold up. Hold up. I'm gonna tell him to hold up really quick. Hold on really quick. I'm gonna, like, leave and come back. I'm on my because this thing is fucking pissing me off. Maybe if I do something, it'll hopefully work for a second. Yeah, we use Discord. Takes three years to connect. Okay, is it working now? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool, yeah. What were you trying to say? Because each time you tried to say it, it got cut off. No. Oh my god, it happened again! Killer 7 sends like a letter to Travis at one point. Ah, okay. Time. Pretty much all of that got cut off. Ooh, this is not a productive episode. Oh, Fucker, let's just end this episode here. Yeah, I think I think that's a good idea. This is this is heart brainium. This is one of our shorter episodes. Let, let's hope we can figure out what happened whoa, and fix whoa, it. Whoa. Again? I'm gonna become Sir Pello in a minute and start mashing the fucking table. Yeah, fuck this episode. Fuck this podcast. I'm on my 24 cigarette. Yes, I'm smoking two at a fucking time. And fuck Brandon the most. That was so out of context because everything else you said got cut off. Fuck this. I'm ending it here and I'm uploading it as is. At this, at this point, we genuinely should just start typing and just record that, and that'll be an episode. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, oh the D&D episode's gonna be such a fucking nightmare to record. Oh, for fucking sure, dude. I'm gonna fucking uh, lose it. Either way, this has been... Well... You stop recording? Um, I'm gonna stop right now. I've been mixing. Because that whole outro thing you just did just got cut off. Fucking. <laughs> Fuck it. I'll do the outro really quick. This has been Golden Soul Shaker and your personal retard. And we're coming at you live from Saturday night. This is Saturday Night Live. But not. Go fucking game end us, please. I will accept any and all acid bombs you send me, personally. My P.O. Box is 4234 fucking... No, 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 I, was, I wasn't giving an actual thing. <laughs> he went fucking mental. I'm gonna go figure out if he has... I, I accidentally fucking clicked the end call button like a retard. <laughs> I was I'm trying to stop trying to stop you from doxing yourself. No, nah, I wasn't I wasn't actually doing it. I, I was giving him like a a meme one. I literally it literally ended it in kill yourself. <laughs> uh. Okay. I'm gonna We're I'm done? gonna stop the recording now. This is a shit show. This piano song sounds exactly like I feel. Uh. Make you song? <laughs>